morning guys um hey it's workout day today i'm really excited my butt is like craving a workout my legs i you just fall on the so funny that i can feel like stretch marks hi guys <laughs> that's kate she's my four-year-old daughter if you are new to my channel my name is jasmine what's going on so yesterday i went and i did groceries and we bought so like guys, hella stuff lunchable and me and mama wallet for me okay so i seen this little shake thing that i got it's like a smoothie but it has like protein in it i guess so this one is strawberry no it's a blueberry Ooh. um kind of cool it says it has like whey and almond butter in it by the way that's just cold water running for some reason it was coming out warm which is weird since it's like a blizzard outside Okay, I expected this to just fall out of here very beautifully. And that's not what's happening. <gasps> Sheesh. Mm, it definitely needs some like sugar. But it's not like the worst thing. I give it a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. I think if they had a strawberry one instead of blueberry... It would be a lot better. I got it from Aldi's, by the way, you guys. This is my outfit for today for my workout. I'm wearing this red sports bra from Top Tier Body and these fitness fashionist silver scrunch booty leggings. Just got a little some slight. Um, I don't really have too much of a pump right now, and I want to show you guys what my body looks like exactly. Okay, so this is what it looks like before I get a pump. I'm trying out this hairstyle. I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of like it. Like, it's super cute. I feel like a Powerpuff Girl a little bit. I don't know. I definitely feel like it makes me look young and not 23. But, oh shit, I'm 24. I keep forgetting that I'm 24. So I have like hip dips if you don't see them. <laughs> this is what they are. And um, I kind of never knew what to do to get rid of them. I used to do a lot of squats and different stuff. But then after like three years of working out i learned that there are certain workouts that get rid of that and hip thrusts are main one i changed my hair i don't have a pre-workout currently at this moment in time so i'm drinking a french vanilla iced espresso so i'll be moving in like a month march 7th and i've been kind of going crazy on deciding what i should do with the gym if i should keep my home gym or if I should just go to an actual gym. Hey, over on the voiceover. <laughs> I always love these in videos. But anyways, fun fact, well actually a really sad fact and um, very, very common fact is that a lot of girls, especially me, do a lot of stupid workouts that don't actually help grow your booty or spend two years doing certain workouts with minimal results. That is my case. So I learned how to give my butt a nice activation. What I'm doing right now is just activation and it's like the warm up. If you are doing only a home workout, you wanna use the band and do four sets of 25. I have another video where I talk about it. But anyways, so it's really important to know your body and know like what are the areas that you wanna target specifically. Um, I'm doing kickbacks. These help isolate and just wake up all of the little muscles in your butt. But my problem has always been hips. I feel like some nice round juicy hips is the way to go. So I always try to do a lot of hip things. These are hip abductors by the way. And what I'm doing, I'm making sure I'm holding my leg out for like a split second before I bring it back in. I'm not just swinging them. I've been working out for like four years. Um, I don't know if I sleep, you know, don't nobody work out four years straight every single day who does that. But I noticed a lot of change when I started doing hip thrusts. Let me tell you, hip thrusts are the way to go. They're gonna build so much mass and like girth on your legs. That word is kind of weird, but I like saying it. Um, and man, it just feels so good. Like when you're actually doing the hip thrust, I personally don't know what to think about. I just try to focus on one thing in the room and then just do them and uh, hope my form is good. I don't know if I 100% feel them, but once I get to like the 12th rep, my butt is on fire, literally. And so what I've been doing is starting my workout with five sets of hip thrusts, and I'm going with the 45 pounder here, and then I'm quickly 
going up by 10 pounds, five on each side, and then doing the same amount of reps. And I'm really pushing myself and making sure I kind of hold it at the top. So the trick to this is kind of like have your shoulder blades on the bench. And I used to squat, like I was a religious squatter, literally. Squatting, deadlifts, and Bulgarian split squats, that was my go-to. And my legs were still kind of skinny. I did not see a huge change until I started doing hip thrusts. Like, I don't know what's inside of them. Why that motion changes your life, but it does. It does. This is the hardest part of my workout. I like to start with the hip thrust and just give it all I freaking got. Put all of my freaking power, all of my sweat, all of my tears, all of that into that. So I really try not to cheat myself because then um, I'm just cheating my booty and my gains. But so I go up by five pounds each time. I don't know if I already said that. I might have. Sorry, I have the worst memory ever, literally. Um, and then my last set is the 25 pound plates. I like to go really, really heavy. By this point, my freaking like pad is already ripping. You definitely gonna need one of these little barbell pads if you are doing hip thrusts, by the way. And you know what's funny? I don't dread doing hip thrusts like I dread doing squats. I feel like squats are so ridiculously hard and challenging. I mean, you still gotta do them, but they just take so much more focus and oh god power and everything i still do them like i'm gonna do them in this video too but after i do my hip thrust i go into something kind of easier some romanian deadlifts and i do like a squat sumo form of romanian and then for the second set i do straight leg straight leg which is like your hamstrings more and then the first version i showed you are glutes more <sighs> i have one more workout left can i just say working out is a love hate relationship like i hate this shit i hate it so much but i really love it you know so it makes me look and feel really good but as i'm doing it i'm like oh god that's why you need a really good pre-workout to just give you this monster ass energy that you don't even know where it comes from be grateful for your progress and applaud yourself because it takes a real <coughs> bad to really work out as much as you have to. <laughs> Summer 2021, baby. Even if we're just flexing for the gram, it's gonna be a good flex. No Photoshop here, baby. No Photoshop here. Now, whenever I do squats, I just go at a weight that I'm comfortable with. These are 25 pound plates on each side. And I'm making sure that I'm doing a sumo stance and really focusing on my depth and my form. When I do the 45 pound plates, currently like at the weight i'm at right now it's a little heavy for me and my body is kind of wobbly especially after all those hard deadlifts but i do want to make sure i get in my squats because it just makes your butt feel amazing you can also do this with a dumbbell um and do goblet squats just whatever you kind of want i'm finally done with my workout whoo jeez i'm like so bloated to say you ever are so bloated and you just feel so pregnant like look at this they start rubbing your stomach like you're actually pregnant this is the after workout pump got a little bit flex going on up in here <laughs> um i should do a burnout but honestly i'm so exhausted and i feel so bloated i'm probably supposed to get my period soon good morning guys it's the next day and i always feel like the next day is such a vibe i woke up so sore like in the middle of the night i felt my muscles like growing if you work out and you eat like a lot of calories you know what i'm talking about if you try to work out heavy but you're not getting any gains that means you need to eat more calories and more protein so i just my legs are feeling really good today and they're sore so that means that i need to feed them again whenever i'm sore i just always always eat that's to me like that's how i get rid of it so i'm going to show you how i make my protein shake i use optimal nutrition i get it from amazon we actually have it on a monthly subscription and uh, we weren't working out for like two months 
and I have like three of these tubs brand new. I put like a whole scoop of protein, some ice, a few peanuts. It actually tastes really good, almost like a Reese's cup. Black seeds, they're good. They help unclog arteries and stuff. I, don't, I mean, I'm not 100% sure what they do, but I know we're supposed to eat them. A little bit of spinach, fill it up in there. And that is my breakfast protein shake. Test it out, you guys. Let me know what you think. I think it's really good. I'm not into like fruit protein shakes. So I really like, hold on, let me show you guys the snow. Oh God, the battery's about to die. I have to super push this door. Oh! I have like five seconds. Look at all this snow. This is my foot. And that's how high it is. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. Help me get out of the current skincare algorithm I'm in. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.